And we're back with Master Clip Series for Positive Vibrations Foundation, Episode 2, Drums. Now, drums are the major foundation of any song. So today, we have Mac Major on the drums, and Andrew Block is going to walk us through and tell us the setup of the drums for recording. That's right. Um, so... From the song that we are looking to record, um, we definitely wanted to do something with a 60s vibe to it. And if you you know know much about the history of recording, uh, there wasn't big track counts available on the old tape machines. You had a limited number of tracks, and so you could only put one or two microphones on the drums. And so being that um, we're going for a 60s thing, we felt like that would be appropriate for today. Um, so we've got this uh, Wonder Audio 67 as the overhead mic. We've got a vintage AKG D12 for the kick drum mic. And the point of this mic uh, and its placement is that we're sort of trying to catch a picture of the entire kit. Uh, you know, if you look at old pictures from like Wrecking Crew sessions or um, just any of the old, old sessions, uh, they were always, you know, you had one microphone on the drums where you were kind of catching the sound of the kit as one instrument as opposed to like snare, snaps, kick, hi-hats or whatever. Um, and so that's sort of the vibe we are going for today. Um, and so why don't we duck off into the control room and check out uh, some of the sounds. All right, so we got Mac out on the drums. Uh, we've got the mics going into the preamps, the overheads into an Alltech 1567 from the 60s and the kick drum is going into a Skibby 736, which is based on an old Flickinger preamp. And so Mac, why don't you uh, play a little bit? Let's hear what these sounds are like right now. So it sounds good, it sounds super crunchy, which is kind of the vibe we were going for. It gives you that old like um, uh, saturation, tape saturation sort of feel. And I think it'd be cool if we had a little spring reverb. Um, so I've got uh, the aux going into uh, an Orbin spring reverb, which has definitely got that old school flavor. So Mac, why don't you play a little bit again and I'm gonna start adding some verb. There it goes. Do you hear the the space? Cool, sounding pretty good. So with a track like this, um, getting that sort of 60s minimal microphone um, setup is definitely, I think, a real big key to it because you know if you want that sound, that's how they were recording back then. Obviously, people do all sorts of stuff that is based on the records that were made uh, in the 60s, but I really just love that sound, and it's sort of the sound of hip hop and um, you know funk, soul, whatever. There's, it just it grabs me. Um, so yeah, those are the drums. <laughs> <laughs> 